Good morning, my smart students. How are you doing? I hope you're doing well. It's mathematics time, and today we have a new lesson. So I want you to be ready and focused. And something else, the lesson of today is completely different from what we have learned before. It's not subtraction. It's not addition. That's why everyone, please get ready. Bring your English book and also sit properly. So, I want someone to say the day and date. The day is Monday and the date is April 13, 2020. And here is the title of the lesson. The title is Take a Survey. Take a Survey. So, what does the title mean? Let's go ahead and try to explore and also to get information about the lesson of today. So let's get started. So everyone, by the end of this lesson, you will be able to take a survey and organize data using tally marks. Tally marks. We're going to learn what tally marks are plus survey and also data. Wow! There are a lot of things we need to learn today. So everyone, uh, here we go. Let's start as usual with the mental math. So I want you to do this by yourself. Remember the skip counting. Remember the pattern. We've learned how to skip count by twos fives and tens too. Here also, uh, let me say a revision because <clears throat> the lesson of yesterday was about uh, how to subtract across zero and this is a good chance to remember or to revise your information. So here are two videos about um, how to take a survey and let's watch the videos together the train's coming down the track taking pictures here and back learning's fun and it's our knack big train's coming clickety clack this train's carrying tally marks can you count tally marks are you ready One. One tally mark. Great job. Try to count with me. One. Two. Two tally marks. Outstanding. One. Two. Three. Three tally marks. One, two, three, four, four tally marks. Great job. One, two, three, four, five, five tally marks. One, two, three, Four, five, six, six tally marks. Outstanding. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven tally marks. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight tally marks. Way to go! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine tally marks. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten tally marks. Way to go. You can count to ten using tally marks. And here's the other video about collecting data. So let's watch the video together. Pay attention, please. of preparing and collecting data. Data is collected to provide information regarding a specific topic. One of the ways it can be collected is through a picture. This picture of a pond shows certain animals. Let's make a data collection of how many animals are there from this picture. Let's begin by counting the butterflies. One, two, three, four, five, and six. There are six butterflies. Now, let's count the turtles. There is only one turtle. Let's see how many ducks are there in the pond. One, two, and Three. There are three ducks in the pond. Now, let's count the frogs. There are two frogs. Look, there are beetles on the leaves. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, and five. There are five beetles on the leaves. Can you see some crabs crawling? There are four crabs crawling. Now, let's see the data collected. There are six butterflies, one turtle, three ducks, two frogs, five beetles and four crabs. Hope you had fun collecting this data. So everyone, after watching the two videos, let's talk about what does, a, what does a survey mean? So in a survey, you collect data by asking people the same question. So everyone, let me explain more. For example, you are inviting your friends to come to a party. So you don't know what food do they prefer. So what you are going to do is to ask all of them the same question. For example, 10 of your friends will come to your party and 7 of them chose pizza. So you are going to serve pizza. So everyone, I want to show you something else. So I want you to use your imagination and imagine that you are in the butterfly garden and you can see there are a lot of insects so what you're going to do is to count how many insects do you see and what you're going to do is to use the tally marks as you saw in the video we call these tally marks one two three four and then Number five, it will go like this. So here we have five tally marks. So listen, everyone, you are in the garden, let's say, and you can see two beads. So what you're going to do is to use two tally marks. And then you saw one, two, three, four, Let's say for ladybugs. One, two, three, four. And how many flies? Let's count one, two, three, four, five. And five flies. One, two, three, four, and then five. So everyone, when you take a survey, you ask a question. Use tally marks and 
record the data and the data is information this is very important so taking a survey about books let's look over here write a question what you need to do is to write a question because the first thing that you are going to do when you collect uh, data let me say to ask questions ask your question record each person's answer with the tally mark count the tally marks so that's what you're going to do for example um, there are let's say 11 students in the class and you want to ask them about the scary funny or sports books so what you're going to do is to write a question and then go to them ask and collect data so in this example we can see two students like uh, scary books because we used the let's say the tally marks to represent the data here also let's say eight students chose funny books and five students chose sports book so everyone task time we have two things to do task number one and task number two but you can choose one of them it's up to you so let's move to task number one I want you to read the question carefully and there are two questions please try to answer them too so let's read it together so everyone ask 10 people their favorite season and you know there are four seasons in one year winter spring summer fall and we've studied this in science before right so use tally marks we're going to use tally marks to represent the data or to record the the data and here we mean the information that we are going to collect when we ask the people so use the data in the chart to answer the question what season do people like best so what you're going to do here is to ask uh, your friends or your mom and dad your siblings about their favorite season so let me say I'm gonna do, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this in um, you know with my family so so you will take a piece of paper and you will write some questions and you will try to record the data you will ask your dad uh, what season does he prefer your mom and as I said to you your siblings so let's start in my house two chose winter so we're gonna write two and three chose spring so I'm gonna write three and two also chose summer so we're gonna write two and four chose fall so everyone what season do let's say my family like best let's see they like fall because four of them chose fall so we're gonna write fall over here sorry it's it's hard to use this fall and let's go to the oh let's go to question number two so how many people like winter and fall write a number sentence to solve so how many people like winter have two so I write number two and uh, let's say and fall there is one two three four so we're gonna write four we're gonna add the sign plus so two plus four equal excellent this is the answer so we're gonna do it this way 
So here's task number two and you're going to do the same. You're going to ask 10 people their favorite picnic food. Use tally marks to record the data. Use the data in the chart to answer the questions. So how many people like hamburgers? How many people like hot dogs? What is the favorite picnic food? And what is the least favorite picnic food? So you're going to do the same as task number one. You will ask 10 people and then you will record the data over here. So also here you're going to take a survey, ask the people in your house what is their favorite fruit out of apple, orange or grapes and complete that chart. Finally, please don't forget to upload your work in uh, your portfolio in ClassDojo and have a nice day. Well done everyone.